Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about taking quizzes and tests on Schoology, which is this icon right here. It looks like a puzzle piece with a pencil. These video tutorials, as you've already found, are in the helpful tools and tips. So to get started, if you wanted to take the quiz, you simply click on the blue words, in this case, Growth Mindset Quiz. When you click on it, you'll see my submissions, test quiz, and comments at the top. The test and quiz button will have your instructions, telling you everything you need to know, learning objectives, and where to find the video tutorial. And to begin, you just press Start New Attempt. You'll come into questions. There will be one question per page. The top right tells you how many pages and where you're at. You can always go back and review the instructions. And then for this type of true or false question, all you need to do is read carefully and then select either true or false. Once you're happy, you can then hit next page. For the multiple choice questions, you'll have anywhere from three to four to sometimes six options. You just read the question and select whatever option you believe best on the uh, buttons just to the left of the letters. You'll notice you have next page and back because now you're on question two. And for this quiz, I've allowed you to go back and review if you want or to go forward to the next question. This is an ordering question. And so at the left, what you'll see are arrows that go up and down. You just hold it and drag it where you want it to go, and it will move number six to number one, or number five to number three, wherever you want, and do that until they are in the correct order that the directions tell you to, in this case chronological, so from happening first to happening last. Then when you're happy, next page or back. For the essay questions, there'll be a prompt at the top, and then it'll say to write down here, you click and press and your keyboard will show up and then you type your response. Remember to always follow the directions. In this case, write three to five sentences. Now, if I want to know what's expected, there is a show rubric button. I press that. So this is a rubric for rich writing. So the criteria is here and the grading scale is here out of the total number of points on the right and the bottom. If you want to get the total number, then you need to follow the parameters set in 4. And if you follow the parameters in 1, 2, or 3, you will respectively get that score from the rubric. For our fill-in-the-blank questions, all you have to do is press the line here, the opening or the box for blank 1, 2, 3, whichever one you want to do after reading. And then you simply select the word from the word bank. So I can select bank one, and when I click on that, it'll give me a keyboard, but instead of writing, I can simply click the word I want to put there, or what I think it is. For matching questions, I press the blank of the number I want to work with, and then I have to type the letter from the right that I want it to match with. So a keyboard will pop up. When I do this, I'll see a line. A line would be drawn to connect. So if I think that number one is this, then a line would be drawn there um, in whatever color it's using at that time. Now once I've done all of my matching, I will have five lines on there, or however many questions, and then since I'm at question six out of six, I can go down here to review my answers, or I can go to back. Now, if by chance I get kicked out or go to another page and it brings me back to this screen, if I've allowed you to resume it, you would simply hit resume and it'll bring you right back to where you left off. If it's a test where you get multiple attempts, now in this one I gave you 20 attempts, but you'll probably only use one, then you will simply start a new attempt and start over. So this page is zoomed in so you can't see the answers because this was actually another quiz. But if I go to review answers, it'll show me each question, how much it was worth. It'll give me the question, and it's going to end up showing me my answers um, to see how I did. So I can review every question and how I answered to make sure that I thoroughly take the test the best way possible. 
When I've completed my review, I go to the bottom of the screen and I can go back to change things. If I saw something I didn't like or if I'm happy, I can go ahead and submit. When I press submit, I will get a confirm submission screen that will just make sure again I am ready. I didn't want to go back and change anything. So if I'm happy, I just hit yes. If not, I hit no and I can change things on the test. When I've completed, I can go to the My Submission page and it will let me know my status. Right now it's pending review because the essay question had not been graded. So I can go back and view my assessment, see my score if it's been graded. In this case it has not yet. See how long I took on the test, when I completed it, when I started it, and which submission or how many I've done. If I want to make comments about it or ask questions, I can do so on the comment page up here. Thanks for watching. Good luck.